What up, Reader Fam? The time has finally come for an updated bookshelf tour. My last bookshelf tour was in 2015, and my bookshelves have changed quite a bit. I've gotten rid of a lot of books, but I've also added a ton of books to my collection, and I'm excited to share it with you guys today. Before I jump into it, I'm going to go over a few things, because I'm sure there's going to be quite a few questions about things relating to my bookshelves. First up, if you want to know where my bookshelves are from, they're from Ikea. They are the Black Billy shelves. They're pretty basic. A lot of people have them. I personally love of them. I think they are top notch and I highly recommend them if you are looking for new bookshelves. I really have no organization method when it comes to how I organize my books. I mostly just go off of what I think looks best. Also the bookshelf tour that you are about to see is already kind of out of date. I filmed this video back in December and I'm just now getting around to editing it. I kept avoiding it because I had three hours of footage and I was not wanting to edit it at all. But I finally forced myself to sit down at my desk and finish it. I didn't end up doing an overview look at my bookshelves, but if that's something that you want to see, I did a bookshelf reorganization video where I show you what my bookshelves look like in full, so I will leave a link to that video down below in the description. But since filming this video, I've gotten rid of books and I've added new books to my collection, so it's already a little bit out of date. But I currently have no plans to film another bookshelf tour. Give me at least a year and then I'll start thinking about it. I also want to note that these are not all my books, these are just the books that I have on display on my bookshelves. I have books in my closet, I have books on my bedside table, I have books on my desk, but I'm just going to be showing you the books that are on my bookshelves. Throughout this video, I might mispronounce authors' names, or I just might not say their names at all, and that's because I don't want to be disrespectful. If I mispronounce something, just let it slide. Don't think anything of it. I am not perfect, okay? Also, I did not include my graphic novels or my mangas in this bookshelf tour, so if that's something that you guys want to see in the future, let me know down below, and I might do a manga and graphic novels collection video or something. And lastly, I just want to point out the fact that yes I know I do have duplicate copies of books. I am a book collector. I like to collect books. I like the UK editions. I like collector's editions. I like the original editions. Some of y'all constantly come for me in the comments for having duplicate copies of books, but you really don't have to because I'm just gonna remain unbothered. Apparently Sassy the Reader came to play today, but he's gonna go sit in timeout now. I think that's all I need to cover, but without further ado, let's get started. Here is my updated bookshelf tour. Okay, first up here we've got Dull Bones by Holly Black. File under 13 suspicious incidents. Who could that be at this hour? When did you see her last? Shouldn't you be in school? And why is this night different from all other nights? These are all by Lemony Snicket and they are part of the All the Wrong Questions series. Pitt Bartlett's Guide to Magical Creatures, a novel by Jackson Pierce and Maggie Steve Otter. The Honest Truth, Some Kind of Courage, and Scar Island, all by Dan Jemine Hart. Next up we have the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. Book 1, The Lightning Thief. Book 2, The Sea of Monsters. Book 3, The Titan's Curse. Book 4, The Battle of the Labyrinth. And the last book in the series, The Last Olympian. Next up, I have the Heroes of Olympus series. Book 1, The Lost Hero. Book 2, The Son of Neptune. Book 3, The Mark of Athena. Book 4, The House of Hades. And the last book in that series, The Blood of Olympus. Next up, I have the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard trilogy. Book 1, The Sword of Summer. Book 2, The Hammer of Thor. And the last book, Book 3, The Ship of the Dead. Then up here, I have two companion books. First up here, I have Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Demigod Files. Then as a part of the Magnus Chase trilogy, I have this Hotel Valhalla. Guide to the Norse Worlds, Your Introduction to Deities, Mythical Beings, and Fantastic Creatures. Next, I have the first two books in the Trials of Apollo series. Book 1, The Hidden Oracle, and Book 2, The Dark Prophecy. Next, I have the Cain Chronicles, which consists of Book 1, The Red Pyramid, Book 2, The Throne of Fire, and Book 3, The Serpent's Shadow. And all of these books are by Rick Riordan. The last thing that I have on the shelf is the Venge Keep Prophecies trilogy, which consists of Book 1, The Venge Keep Prophecies, Book 2, The Shadowhand Covenant, and the last book, the Grim Jinx Rebellion. All three of these books are by Brian Ferry. Next shelf, I have Cruel Crown. This is the Red Queen Collector's Edition. Then just the normal edition of Red Queen. Book two, Glass Sword. Book three, King's Cage. And all of these books are by Victoria Aveyard. An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. The Darkest Part of the Forest. And The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, both by Holly Black. The Star Touched Queen by Roshni Chakshi. If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. Next shelf, first up, we have Geekerella by Ashley Poston. I Never by Laura Hopper. I Hate Everyone But You by Gabby Dunn and Allison Raskin. Definitions of Indefinable Things by Whitney Taylor. Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. Rebel Bell, Miss Mayhem. And finally, Lady Renegades, all a part of the Rebel Bell trilogy by Rachel Hawkins. A Totally Awkward Love Story by Tom Ellen and Lucy Ivison. Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornall. A Short History of the Girl Next Door by Jared Reck. Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore, a novel by Robin Sloan. I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. Eliza and 
Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia, Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow, One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus, Akata Witch by Nydia Akorafor, Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, The Whole Thing Together by Anne Brashers, The Amateurs, and the second book Follow Me, The Killer You Know, both by Sarah Shepard, The Inexplicable Logic of My Life by Benjamin Allier Sands, Faking Normal, and The Lies About Truth, both by Courtney C. Stevens. Next shelf I have All Rights Reserved by Gregory Scott Katsulis, I butchered that. Frazzled Everyday Disasters and Impending Doom by Bookie Vivat. I have books one through six in the Timmy Failure series. Book one, Mistakes Were Made. Book two, Now Look What You've Done. Book three, We Meet Again. Book four, Sanitized for Your Protection. Book five, The Book You're Not Supposed to Have. Book six, The Cat Stole My Pants. All of these books are by Stefan Pastis and they all have ridiculous book titles. Let me just say that. And the last book on this shelf is Jellicoe Road by Melina Marchetta. Also, lastly, we have a bookish mug with Baymax chillin' in it. Next shelf, we have The Invention of Hugo Cabret, Wonderstruck, and The Marvels, all by Brian Selznick. Me Being Me is Exactly as Insane as You Being You by Todd Hazaklowy. That was such a bad pronunciation. The first book in the Illuminae Files, Illuminae. And book two, Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. When You Were Here by Daisy Whitney. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. Let's Get Lost by Adi Alsed. The Radius of Us by Marie Marquardt. Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Jacoby by William Ritter. A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. When We Collided by Emery Lord. This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. The Sun is Also a Star. And Everything Everything, both by Nicola Yoon. History is All You Left Me. They Both Die at the End. And More Happy Than not all by Adam Silvera. Genuine Fraud, We Were Liars the Deluxe Edition, and We Were Liars the Normal Edition, all by E. Lockhart. Noggin by John Corey Whaley, Turtles All the Way Down, and The Fault in Our Stars, both by John Green. We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sunquist, Winger, Standoff, 100 Sideways Miles, and Grasshopper Jungle, all by Andrew Smith. A Little Life by Hanya Yana Gahira. I think I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I'm sorry, don't hate me. Book one in the Crowns Game duology, The Crowns Game, and book two, The Crowns Fate, both by Evelyn Skye, The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid, The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman, the first book in the Blowback trilogy, Blowback 07, and the second book, Blowback 63, both by Brian Meal, The Circle Maker by Mark Batterson, Paper Things by Jennifer Richard Jacobson, Book 1 in the Leviathan trilogy, Leviathan, Book 2, Behemoth, and the third and final book, Goliath, all by Scott Westerfeld, the first book in the Bone Season series, The Bone Season, and the second book, The Mime Order, both by Samantha Shannon, the first book in the Air Chronicle series, The Warrior Air, and the second book, The Wizard Air, both by Cinda Williams Chima. The first book in the Maze Runner trilogy, The Maze Runner, book two, The Scorched Trials, and book three, The Death Cure, all by James Dashner. Next up, I have the original edition of 13 Reasons Why, and then I also have the Netflix tie-in edition of 13 Reasons Why, both by Jay Asher. The Spectacular Now by Tim Tharp, If I Stay, and Where She Went, both by Gail Foreman, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, and Second Chance Summer, both by Morgan Matson. Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh, Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley, Looking for Alaska by by John Green, Struts and Frets by John Scavron. I hope that I'm pronouncing this title correctly. Fortunately, The Milk, Coraline, and The Graveyard Book, all by Neil Gaiman. My paperback copy of The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. The Pig Man by Paul Zindel. You Deserve a Drink by Mamrie Hart. Adverbs by Daniel Handler. Food Girls and Other Things I Can't Have by Alan Zadoff. And Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. This next section is kind of hard to get to, but this is basically where my poetry collection is. First up here, I have Loving versus Virginia. I have a book here that's just straight to the point. Love when a title just tells it like it is. Soft magic, no matter the wreckage. Then I have this vintage poetry book that I found in an antique store and it's called the Fire Light Book. Love Her Wild, Sonata Melotica, I think that's how you pronounce it. Now We Are 60, Love and Misadventure, which is one that I am currently reading. As you can see, there's a bookmark up there. Bittersweet Love, The Chaos of Longing of Yesteryear, Stuff I've Been Feeling Lately, Bones in the Garden, A Thousand Mornings, Milk and Honey, Three Tang Dynasty Poets, Goblin Market, Letters to a Young Poet, all right, next shelf we have Horton's Miraculous Mechanisms by Lisa Evans, The Geek's Guide to Dating by Eric Smith, Very Good Lives by J.K. Rowling, Make Good Art by Neil Gaiman, Burned, Rumble, Crank, and Smoke all by Ellen Hopkins. Also, Smoke is the sequel to Burn, so I put it in its correct place on my bookshelf because I know that was probably going to bug some of you guys. Next up we have Humans of New York by Brandon Stanton, Dying to Know You by Aiden Chambers, another Ellen Hopkins book, The You I've Never Known, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, Zombie Book One, Zombie 
Zombie Book 2 Underground by Darren Shan. Moving on over, we've got Daughter of Smoke and Bone and Days of Blood and Starlight, both by Lainey Taylor. We've got Falling Kingdoms Book 1, Book 2 Rebel Spring, Book 3 Gathering Darkness, Book 4 Frozen Tides, and those four books are a part of the Falling Kingdom series. Then I have a book of Spirit and Thieves, and a sequel to that book, The Darkest Magic, and all of those books are by Morgan Rhodes. Seven Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and all of these books are a part of the Throne of Glass series. Then I have A Court of Thorns and Roses, and the second book in that series, A Court of Mist and Fury. And all of the books that I just showed you are by Sarah J. Mass. Next I've got The Doldrums Book 1, The Doldrums and the Hemsley Curse Book 2, both by Nicholas Gannon, Into the Dim by Janet B. Taylor, Fragments of the Lost by Megan Miranda, Bull by David Elliott, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, The Goblin's Puzzle by Andrew S. Chilton, Hoodoo, and The Mesmerist, both by Ronald L. Smith. Then I have the third book in the Serafina and the Splintered Heart series by Robert Beatty. I cannot find book one and book two. I have no idea where I put them. The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron, The Tale of a No-Name Squirrel. I actually got this book because my friend did the illustrations for them. She did this picture on the front. She's an incredible artist. Next, I have The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. And this actually needs to be on my poetry shelf, so I'm gonna make that transition awkwardly right now. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Anyways, back to this shelf. Next up, I have a separate piece by John Knowles, Pathfinder by Orson Scott Card, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman, Every You, Every Me by David Levithan, Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson, Off the Page by Jody Picoll and Samantha Van Leer, Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick, A Man Called Ove, and My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry, both by Frederick Backman, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Four, My Paperback Copy of More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, Paper Towns by John Green, The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi, The House on Mango Street, Black Tides of Heaven, and The Red Threads of Fortune, The Kite Runner, Summerland by Michael Chabon. Then I have the Polish edition of The Call because I have a little blurb on it on the inside flap, so how fancy schmancy is that? Then I have The Ballad of Reading Jaol and Other Poems, The Decay of Lying and Other Essays, and The Picture of Dorian Gray, all by Oscar Wilde, Death at the Chateau Bramont by M. L. Longworth, The Secret History by Donna Tartt, Half a World Away, and The Thing About Luck by Cynthia Katohara, The Red Pencil by Andrea Davis Pinkney, The Little Prince, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, The BFG by Roald Dahl, I Work at a Public Library by Gina Sheridan, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Next I have this super random little section. First up I have Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. Next up is Professor Gargoyle which has a trippy cover. <laughs> Book two, The Slither Sisters. And book three, Teacher's Pest. These books are a part of the Tales from Lovecraft Middle School series, and they are by Charles Gilman. Next is The Tiny Book of Tiny Stories, Volume 1, and The Tiny Book of Tiny Stories, Volume 2. And then finally, on this random little section, I have Rules for a Night by Ethan Hawke. Next here, we have my writer's section on my bookshelf. First up here, we've got The Writer's Thesaurus, The Writing Life by Annie Dillard, a notebook that has random story ideas in it, the storytelling animal, how stories make us human, the imagineering workout exercises to shape your creative muscles, writing about magic by Rain Hall, the first five pages, a writer's guide to staying out of the rejection pile, this is not a writing manual, notes for young writers in the real world, on writing by Stephen King, the forest for the trees, an editor's advice to writers by Betsy Lerner, bird by bird by Anne Lamott, writing magic, and writer to writer from think to ink, both by Gail Carson Levine, Something in Between by Melissa De La Cruz, What Light by Jay Asher, The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rundell, Solo by Quaim Alexander, Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, Control by Lydia Kang, Proxy and Guardian both by Alex London, The Call, Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan, Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, What We Saw by Aaron Hartzler, Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman, This Freaking cover, guys. It's so beautiful. 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad. Nightfall by Jake Halperin and Peter Cool oh, man, I'm not gonna even try. My True Love Gave to Me, featuring 12 holiday stories by 12 young adult authors. Newt's Emerald by Garth Nix. The Alex Crow by Andrew Smith. The Forsaken by Lisa M. Stassi. Divergent, The Insurgent Collector's Edition. Allegiant, and for a Divergent Collection, all by Veronica Roth. Next here we have The Takedown by Corey Wong. My my Heart and Other Black My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. Legend, Prodigy, and Champion, all by Marie Lu. This is not a werewolf story by 
Sandra Evans. The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Flights and Chimes and Mysterious Times by Emma Trevane. Starflight by Melissa Landers. And finally in this little cube we've got the Spiderwick Chronicles and this is a collection of the series. Next we have Ask Me How I Got Here by Christine Hepperman. The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Miles Morales Spider-Man by Jason Reynolds. Flying Lessons and Other Stories by a bunch of YA and middle grade authors. One of the Boys. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. The Hundred Lies of Lizzie Lovett by Chelsea Sidoti. You Don't Know My Name by Kristen Orlando. Sidekicked by John David Anderson. Phantom Limbs by Paula Garner. The Last Leaves Falling by Sarah Binwell. The Accident Season. All American Boys by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley. Quarantine the Loners by Lex Thomas. We Are Okay by Nina LaCour. The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan. The Final Empire. The Well of Ascension. The Hero of Ages. Shadows of Self. And The Alloy of Law all by Brandon Sanderson. The Red Notebook. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. A Wrinkle in Time. Skellig by David Almond. And Holes. Diggin' uh uh uh. Diggin'. We're getting low. This is when things get tricky for me. Sleeping Giants. The Goldfinch. The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. The Cuckoo's Calling. And The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith aka J.K. Rowling. Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman. Bats of the Republic by Zachary Thomas Dodson. The Edge of Everything by Jeff Giles. These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. And I Darken by Kirsten White. The Diviners by Libba Bray. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. History of the Rain by Niall Williams. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The Darkest Corners and Little Monsters both by Kara Thomas. Night Film. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. Ghostly, a collection of ghost stories. Next up here, we have another little random section. First up, we have One Page at a Time, A Daily Creative Companion by Adam J. Kurtz, Otherworldly, The Mystery Writers of America Cookbook, and Literary Listography, My Reading Life in Lists. Next, we have Calm, Calm the Mind, Change the World by Michael Acton Smith, The Pieces We Keep by Christina McMorris, Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella, Room by Emma Donahue, The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey, The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. Nelson, the Storied Life of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin, After Ever After, and Drums, Girls, and Dangerous Pie, both by Jordan Sonnenblick, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, The Bling Ring by Nancy Jo Sales, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, and The Twelve Days of Dash and Lily, both by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan, The Basic Eight by Daniel Handler, My Paperback Edition of The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, Watch Your Mouth by Daniel Handler, The Illusionist by Rosie Thomas, Rook by Sharon Cameron, Delirium by Lauren Oliver, Ronit and Jamil by by Pamela L. Laskin, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, See You at Harry's by Joe Knowles, The Dragon's Tooth by N.D. Wilson, Unnatural Creatures, which is a short story collection curated by Neil Gaiman, The Martian by Andy Weir, We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson, Trader's Blade, The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, Libriomancer by Jim C. Hines, Hounded, Book One in the Iron Druid Chronicles, and then I have Book Eight in the Iron Druid Chronicles called Staked, both books by Kevin Hearn. Don't ask why I have book one and book eight. It just happened, okay? Jonathan Livington Siegel by Richard Bach. This shelf is unfortunately the books I don't like shelf. First up here we have Poisoned Apples by Christine Hepperman, Perfect Lies and Mind Games both by Kirsten White, Zack and Mia by AJ Betts, Slide by Jill Hathaway, Kiss of Broken Glass, Frost by Mariana Bear, Schizo by Nick Sheff, In the Shadows by Kirsten White and Jim DiBartolo, Mosquito Land by David Arnold, Half Bad by Sally Green, The Sword of Shannara and The Elf Stones of Shannara both by Terry Brooks, Exit Here by Jason Myers, House of Ivy and Sorrow by Natalie Whipple, Beautiful Creatures and Beautiful Darkness both by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Also just so you guys know the reason I keep these books are to show them in like tag videos and stuff when I'm asked to like what's a book that you were really disappointed by or what's a book that you don't really like? I have a shelf to choose from. Here's what the top of this bookshelf looks like. There's just some random things up there. I've got my Harry Potter collection which I'm not going to go over because I'm sure you guys know what Harry Potter looks like. Um, I've got like a hunger games picture up there, a vintage camera, got some pictures with friends up there, a little globe thing, a crown because royalty, super exciting stuff up there. <laughs> At some point in the future these shelves will be full of books as well, but currently I'm just using these bookish mugs as fillers. Same here for these shelves, eventually they'll be full of books, but right now I'm just using picture books. I kind of don't want to have a full bookshelf for a while because I have a lot of books that are unread on my bookshelves that I need to get to. Up top I have some Lemony Snicket books on display. First up I have this picture 
Adventure book by Lemony Snicket and John Klassen called The Dark. Next up, Horseradish. Then I have the A Series of Unfortunate Events series. We have book one, The Bad Beginning. Book two, The Reptile Room. Book three, The Wide Window. Book four, The Miserable Mill. Book five, The Austere Academy. Book six, The Ersatz Elevator. Book seven, The Vile Village. Book eight, The Hostile Hospital. Book nine, The Carnivorous Carnival. Book 10, The Slippery Slope. Book 11, The Grim Grotto. Book 12, The Penultimate Peril. Some of these are just tongue twisters. Tongue twisters, I tell ya. Book 13, The End. And then finally up here I have Lemony Snicket, The Unauthorized Autobiography. First up on this shelf we have The Book Thief, The Special Anniversary Edition. Then we just have the normal edition of The Book Thief. And then I have the UK edition of The Book Thief. Do I have enough copies of The Book Thief? Probably. Next up I have the paperback editions of The Infernal Devices and The Mortal Instruments series. These spines have me drooling and they're a major part as to why I bought the paperback editions. First up, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. And then to top it off, I have the 10th anniversary edition of City of Bones. This shelf is basically my hardcover collection of Cassandra Clare's books. We've got Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, The Bane Chronicles, Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, The Shadowhunters Codex, and then finally on the shelf I have a history of notable Shadowhunters. Next shelf, first up we have Landline, Attachments, Eleanor and Park, Eleanor and Park, the exclusive collector's edition, Fangirl, Fangirl, the exclusive collector's edition, Carry On, Kindred Spirits, and Almost Midnight, all by Rainbow Rowell, The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding, Passenger, Wayfarer, The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, In the Afterlight, and Through the Dark, all by Alexander Bracken, Something Strange and Deadly, A Darkness Strange and Lovely, Strange and Ever After, Truth Witch, and Wind Witch, all by Susan Dennard, Caraval, and Caraval again in this sickeningly beautiful UK edition, and Caraval is by Stephanie Garber. Next up here I have my beloved Ransom Riggs and Tara Moffey shelf. First up here I have the excerpt of the graphic novel, then I have the sampler of Tales of the Peculiar, then I have this little box that came with a bunch of peculiar macaroons that I got at the movie premiere. It's got all these peculiar little designs on it. Then I also have the audiobook of the first book that was sent to me randomly. I did not request this or anything. It was just randomly sent to me one day. Then back here I have this book of art from the film. Then I have the Tales of the Peculiar, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, and the third book, Library of Souls. Then I have the graphic novel for book one and the graphic novel for book two with art done by Cassandra Jean. Then I also have this sampler of the Hollow City graphic novel. Next up, I have the movie tie-in edition of book one. I have the paperback copy of book one and the paperback copy of book two. Then finally up here, I have this Miss Peregrine's Journal for Peculiar Children. As you can see, I'm quite the fan of the peculiar world. Next up, I have Unite Me, Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Furthermore, An Arc of Furthermore, and then An Arc of Witchwood, and these books are all by Tahara Mafi. Next shelf, I have the UK edition of Wonder Woman Warbringer, The Language of Thorns, Six of Crows, then I have a little sampler of Crooked Kingdom, then I have Crooked Kingdom, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising, all by Lee Bardugo. Next up, Ferris, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter, all by Marissa Meyer. The Raven Boys. I just realized I have the series in the wrong order, so that's embarrassing. <laughs> Next up is The Dream Thieves, then Blue Lily, Lily Blue, The Raven King, all the Crooked Saints, and the Scorpio Races, all by Maggie Steve Otter. Next up, I have my Victoria Schwab shelf. As you can see, I am a massive fan of Victoria Schwab. She's one of my favorites, so she deserved her own shelf on my bookshelf. First up, I have The Near Witch hiding back here. Next up, I have the exclusive collector's edition of A Darker Shade of Magic. Then just the regular old A Darker Shade of Magic. A Gathering of Shadows. A Conjuring of Light. Then I have here an advanced reader's copy of A Darker Shade of Magic. An advanced reader's copy of A Gathering of Shadows. An advanced reader's copy of This Savage Song. I have the UK edition of Because You Love to Hate Me, which Victoria Schwab and I collaborated on a story in this book, which was super exciting. I'm still fanboying over it. The UK edition of This Savage Song. The UK edition of Vicious. The UK edition of A Darker Shade of Magic, the UK edition of A Gathering of Shadows, and the UK edition of A Conjuring of Light. I have a finished copy of this Savage Song. I haven't picked up Our Dark Duet yet. I know, fake fan, The Archived, which started my love for Victoria Schwab, The Unbound, Vicious, and the US edition of Because You Love to Hate Me. Again, I collaborated on a story with Victoria Schwab and I am very proud of it. The Marked Girl by Lindsay Klingel, Iron Cast by Destiny Soria, Labyrinth Lost, Everyone's a Alien When You're an Alien 2, Denton Little's Death Date, 
great. Panic by Lauren Oliver. No Good Deed. Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. This is where it ends. Wink, Poppy, Midnight. A Shadow Bright and Burning. And A Poison Dark and Drowning, both by Jessica Cluis. The Hunger Games. Catching Fire. And Mocking Jay, all by Suzanne Collins. The Boundless by Kenneth Opel. The Iron Trial. The Copper Gauntlet. And The Bronze Key, all by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Nightmares Book 1. Nightmares Book 2, The Sleepwalker Tonic. Nightmares Book 3, The Lost Lullaby. And Otherworld, all by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller. And last, I have Snow and Rose. That's it for my updated bookshelf tour. You guys should let me know down below in the comments a book that you saw on my bookshelf that you are dying to get your hands on. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos frequently on this channel, so if you want to see more bookish content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe, or go and click the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye-choo!